Hi team. Hope you're all doing okay. Um, proposals. Thank you to everyone who got their proposals in by midnight last night. Um, this morning, I'm going to be looking through them and I'm going to give you, be giving you the stamp of approval. So be sure to look at the comments and also your grade on your proposal. Um, and then I'll be updating that Google document that I posted in the announcements and also sent along in the homework email on Sunday evening that says the pairing that students are doing so um, that there's no overlap if you decide to change your mind from your original proposal. For those of you who didn't do your proposal and you currently have a D in this class, you are in really terrible shape. Um, so you need to come and have a conversation with me. Send me an email. Okay, so today you are finishing up with whatever it is that you didn't finish with lemonade. Make sure that you turn in your two responses. So your lemonade response and then also the beloved response. And then today you're going to begin watching the film Everything Everywhere All at Once. As a reminder, you can do everything everywhere all at once as you're pairing. So if while you're watching it, you decide that you have changed your mind, you need to redo your proposal. Um, and then you need to turn this in. I give you a little blurb of what the film is about at the very top if you don't know. Um, so it's about a woman, she's an immigrant, and she is an immigrant mother who's trying to make amends within her personal and professional life. And then there's some science fiction elements to it as you're watching the film, it's gonna be very easily identifiable. Um, and then the whole time she's fighting this evil thing from another universe, and that thing ends up being her daughter, who has a very different lived experience than she does. Um, and so this idea of like mother daughter, like battling over what the experience of life should be, or like trying to gain understanding of each other. And then also the idea of the collapsing of time could be parallels or the connections that you make between the film and also beloved. So what I mean by time is that time becomes a uh, interesting concept within Beloved because they're obviously in the present, but they go into so many flashbacks and we see how the past influences the present that it's almost like all of time is happening at once and Beloved experiences that in all of the She is Mine chapters. Um, this doesn't necessarily have the same notions with time. Um, like unless you think of time as not in linear time, but time is in like time and space and things happening in other universes where you are involved. Um, so you can make that connection, how time is the uniting concept, but then it looks very differently in each text. So you're going to watch this this week. You're going to fill this out. Same thing as you've done before. I've changed the questions for your consideration here. Um, and then you're going to turn this in on Tuesday of next week and all of next week is going to be dedicated to you getting your final projects done because then the following week you're going to be presenting them in front of class. Um, and then hopefully you graduate. All right. Bye bye.